IncredibleTinyHomes.com or YouTube Incredible Tiny Homes on YouTube every day. We got what 1,700 videos, so we do one every single day. Last yesterday we put out four, yeah, four different we videos. We got over we got 104,000 subscribers now. Yeah, so we're coming on. Yeah. If I had dancing cats, <laughs> we'd get a million. Cats can you, can a car. you dance? Can you dance or something? <laughs> He's a pretty boy. We get all these girls watching. I can dance. You can dance. Oh, there you go. No way. Yeah, we'll walk that way. Yep. How long does it take you to build that big one over there? How long does it take you to build that? A couple months. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We'll just walk down this way and we'll go in that great big house. You guys can see it. That's a two story. Ready? Now, what school is this? All right, so this is, uh, hey, sweetheart. Hey, come here. I'm gonna get you. Where are you from? Wait, a minute, can you hear? <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, Newport, Tennessee. Is it Cobb County High School? Yeah. Okay. So Cobb County High School came here. This is the second class. Yeah. You're the second class. What grade are you in? Eleven. Eleven. What do you do? What's your class? Uh, it's architectural engineering design. Architectural engineering. You got you got a volume. That I can turn up <laughs> your voice. I asked her, I said, Are you the only girl in this group? And she said, Yeah. Aww, so, yeah. Good. Have you heard about us before you came here? Yeah, I usually like pass them pretty often. Oh, you go by here? Yeah. Oh, right. good. Cool. Yeah. Well, good. What do you think when you came here? The houses are nice. Like yeah. It. Cool. So, you design houses? Or what do you guys design? Is it? Uh, it's house plans. So, it is architectural? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good. Good. So they came. I know Mr. Ellison, he's had a couple boys come here and work. Yeah. And he asked me if he could bring the classes there. So I yeah. had one here earlier. And then, what's your name? Alicia. Alicia? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, I won't embarrass you anymore. <laughs> okay. You'll have All to right. watch YouTube tonight. Tell your parents to watch YouTube and watch you on here tonight. Yeah, we'll put it on our incredible time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hey, Randy, we'll have to. Uh, oh, so sweet. Um, that music, we got to cut it off. Right, okay. Ace, what are you doing? Are you working? So they're in Ron and Alice's house. Yeah, they're in Ron and Alice's and house. And this is that big, we just showed this last week, the big 10 by 40. Stupid. <laughs> no, you can keep <laughs> Crazy that. Big. Crazy big. It's a, mo I mean, it is a huge. Stupid big. It is so big. Yeah. So they have never seen a two-story tiny house before. No. And uh, of course, we're framing another one here, and we got one there. We won't show. We're not showing that one. Yep. Yeah. And so yeah, let's walk around here. Okay. To high school yeah. guys. He's just running around. So what are these kids interested in? You gonna grab a couple? Of them? Is it just a off class? Hey, are you guys taking this class because it's easy credits? I'm taking it because I'm saying architectural engineering. Yeah, it's yeah. Architectural engineering? Yeah. Do you know how to count oh, and stuff like that? Yeah. What is that? Oh, they'll, 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 they'll stomp on it. They, they won't not stomp a, on they'll it. They'll even not a hold. Their fingers don't even oh, work. Oh, they're yet. being hey. They'll, okay. They're all right. Yeah. So you guys want to be architects? Yes. Really? An engineer for me. An engineering? I'm an engineering type. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I like more mechanical parts, like engines, Got it. Anything that machines. Make about dollars. Yeah, well, you'll never make it, but they will, okay? <laughs> you can't do it for the money, man. You got to do it because you yeah, like I'm doing it. Solid. I've always built Legos and stuff, so... You, like you built Legos? You never told me that. Bro, yeah. Legos are amazing. Are you good in math? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Awesome. Are you good in math? Yeah, I'm probably the, in the smartest math than anybody here. Stop. <laughs> I have a state dual credit pre What are you? Are you in cal uh, calculus? State dual credit pre calculus. Pre calculus. You need to be our accountant, Randy. I thought you, you need to be like in Calc 3 by now, right? I'm doing it right now. Well, what's next? Calc 2? Uh, calculus. Calculus. Yeah, something like that. Probably something like that. Hey, don't I know the name of it. Juniors graduate now. Don't you graduate as a junior? Are you going to graduate this year? You got to do another year? Are you a junior? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So you, you guys are all juniors? No, I'm a sophomore. 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 Okay. okay. Good. Yeah, I can tell by your skin. You're a, you're a, look at him, Amanda. Look at him. Uh-oh. Look, he's got his $200 iPods in here. Yeah. Earbuds. He does not act like a sophomore. Who? 
Right? He looks like a freshman. No, well, he looks like he's 30. 30? <laughs> yeah, 30. He's already, got a job. he's already got everything going on. I don't got much going on. I just got a bunch of different hobbies. That's it. God. <laughs> he looks like he would be the oldest there in our group. He looks like Eddie Van Halen. He's like, yeah, he's cool. He's got a beer and mustache he's and a mullet. Cool. <laughs> then we got Surfer Dude here. He looks like Jaden. Jaden. Yes, oh, yeah, Tony. he does. He yeah. looks like Jaden. He looks like oh, Tony's baby. boy. Oh, well, they, can you, oh, we're, we're just now starting architectural stuff and, and plans. Yeah. Can you please tell them the importance of dimensioning correctly? It's everything. And what, why dimensioning is it? important so I, what I we do yep so what we do answer his question is the tongue of the trailers down there so if this is a flat trailer and there's no walls built or anything on it right so you got a carpenter here that needs to build this wall we need to know how tall that wall has to be we build them all the time they're a certain length or height of the stud but let's go from the next thing because now we got to know where to put all three of those windows because two of them are in a, a bedroom, one of them's in a bathroom, and you got a wall in between, you got to know where exactly that thing is. So when a carpenter comes in here, he'll take his tape measure, and he'll hook it down here at the back. And you got a two by four running here, it's called a sole plate. So on your plans, you'll have a framing, a framing diagram, and it shows two by fours, right? You have your sole plate, then you got your studs, then you got a top plate and usually a double top plate, right? Well, if he has his bottom plate here, he's got a layout, which is a, you mark, you take your tape, and he's going to measure from the corner of that to that window has got to be two foot and seven inches. Because when it's in that bathroom, it may land right next to a shower and a toilet. If it's off, it's a mess. If you got a kitchen sink, let's say this is your kitchen sink. Right here is a kitchen sink and you got a kitchen layout. You got a 36 inch uh, base cabinet, then you got a 24, then you got an interior wall. If this window is not exactly right there, that sink will be offset and we got a homeowner watching and they'll say, I don't want it. Yeah. Now you gotta tear that whole wall, that whole window out, move it over an inch and a half and it costs tons of money, tons of time and it's a mess. So dimensioning is a road map of how to get to the end. That's what dimensioning is. And if you're off anything, it throws everybody off. So one, that dimension of that window throws a whole house off. Also, that second story, where's that roof line gonna meet? Then you got a load bearing. What's gonna hold all that weight? Bottom portion. Well, you, got, you either got LVL trusses, you know, beams, you got a load bearing wall, underneath the low bearing wall, the trailer, all that stuff, and you gotta vertically stack it, or you're gonna cantilever with some other sort of supporting members, right? Yeah, yeah, so all that stuff, usually an architect, you would figure, if you guys are architects, you would know how much that calculates all that weight. But if you have a truss system, it'll push all your weight to your perimeter walls, and then you got a straight vertical down to the bottom out here, and no weight on the inside. So stuff like that, is massive important. You guys are learning out just layouts, floor plans, and just how it's going to look. And then you start figuring out how and why it's built the way it is. And that's where the engineering comes in. That's why I like Frank Lloyd Wright, if you've ever heard of him, the greatest architect, he did a lot of cantilevering. And we do a lot of that here just to support stuff that gives it a free flowing look. Like if you have a big heavy member and you got a supporting beam, it'll hang out here, right? And this is holding a whole second story, but there's no posts under it. That's because all this member here is massive. It's a big arm and it's strong and it can hold that whole thing up. And it gives it that free flowing look underneath. And he was real famous of using that. So in what we do, like this arch building here, this is the strongest geometric form is an arch. Anybody ever take an egg and try to crush it in your hand? You put it right in the palm of your hand and you grab that egg, it won't break. I don't know how strong you are, but if you, you know, you dig into it, it will. But if you get the force all the way around it, it won't collapse. So this dome is all over the world. The Greeks, the Romans, the Italians, everybody. Thousands of years ago, they used arches 
to support all those big columns and all, all those big, big coliseums, this is the strength. So right here, all the weight in that truss system, you see all them little, we call it webbing. You see all the webbing? So what happens is, let's say the wind is forcing on this side of the house, right, or the building. It's beating on it, 70 miles an hour. That force is staggered and separate all the way over the truss. So that side of the truss feels that same strength. So what happens is they all feel the same amount of resistance. That's what that webbing is about. If you guys go under a bridge and you see that big bridge, so it's webbed like this, when a truck goes over that thing, there's weight here, but then it, it goes, radiates all the way across the whole, the whole, you know, whole bridge. So I really love trusses, cantilevering, and it gets you um, a way to be able to design things and it gives you a really crazy look and design. Instead of just being straight vertical box, you get to do different stuff, you know. So as you can tell, I like building, I like designing, and it's, there's, I mean, it's, it's always different. So, hey, yep, yeah, let's go out there. I'm gonna show you the house that I live in. How's that, okay? And you want to get a, a picture whenever before it all ends. Everybody. So Mr. Ellison said he wants to buy three credit boxes. Oh, there you go. You need three of them. Back where, back where I just moved from, uh, we did a lot of fence work. There you go. There you go, guys. What's I've that? worked on top we of did our, a lot of fence work. Oh, did you? I've worked on top of our roof. So this is my house right here. It's eight foot by 16, so it's 16 foot long, eight foot wide, and that building is to make sure we're gonna build hundreds of them of this model, because this is our key to homelessness and people that need homes, affordable housing, and you're not gonna believe how little this thing is, but how big it feels when you come inside. Come on inside. So, it's only 128 square feet, and uh, hey, we'll stop there and bring you another guys in. So, bed, right? Here, just sit on that bed. All right? <laughs> so, you got your bed. Randy, look, yeah. you can't do abuse look, on I got my video. TV. So, let's say, hey, what's saying you guys forget? You know you think about? All right, so how can you live in something this small, right? So, you come home, you want to crash. Turn my TV on. Oh, yeah, I'm watching oh, YouTube and checking it out, all right? I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get to my kitchen. I got a fridge right there, right? So I got my fridge. So I'm gonna get my snacks, get my snicker bar and everything. Then I'm gonna over here and I'm gonna cook, right? I'm down, so I'm, I've cooked and I've ate. I'm like, you know, it's getting a little late. I need to take a shower. I walk into my bathroom, I get a full shower. Oh, well I'm not show this. And then my snicker bar's starting to mess with my stomach and I gotta take a dump, you know? So I go over there. You can't say that! I get my high school boys! And so I got a full bathroom, shower, everything right it's basically a college dorm is what it is in here. and then you take okay you're, you're, uh, i hang up my clothes his underwear. back behind the door is my little closet i got some spices some vitamins and whatever i got as, what else do you as need an italian, let me see your spices. as well, an italian you <laughs> I let me see well i'm not spices. italian i'm not italian <laughs> he is oh you're oh, I yes, know, but I'm, he's an aficionado so and up there are my clothes and somebody wrote on there socks and t-shirts. What well, do you mean somebody? What Boxers. Are mean? Somebody. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so I got clothes up there. Huh? Right? Three quarters. Little closet. What else do you guys think? If you think about it, what else do you need Dude, in a house? Oh what? You like my books? Yes. Alright. I was thinking. Well, that's a garage and that's cars. outdoors. Yeah. I was thinking just. How do you I, have more than one car? I need tools. But you wouldn't think you wouldn't think that a little house like this would accommodate a lifestyle. I think and it, it can. Yeah. Yeah. And it can. Yeah. You don't yeah. need much. I no. Just, there you go. I probably just built myself a little tool, like a tool rack, attached to somewhere to the back. You don't want something portable workshop. There you go. See, there you That's go. outside. Yeah, the Instapot too. Yeah. Got an Instapot. me an Instapot. Oh, my mom loves those things. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. All right, let's get them other guys in here. <laughs> my mom loves the. Get out of here. You got what his mom has. 
Mama has a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to My mom has of a bigger course. Instant Pot than you. Get in here. Uh, does your mom have an Instant knows. Pot? Yes. Do you know what that is? Yeah, she loves it. Oh my god, you look like Tom's other boy. He does, doesn't he? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What's his name? Ma uh, Maddox. Yeah, Maddox. Come on in here, buddy. Let me get out of your way. <laughs> hey, you're going to take sure, Randy. <laughs> yeah. So this is my house. And I was telling the other boys when you come in here, you just kick back, you got your TV, you got your clothes. I got extra clothes up there for storage. I got a closet, a refrigerator. So some people don't think through the lifestyle of living. If you had a camper, an RV, you wouldn't be able to get in here with an RV, all of us, right? A 16-foot RV, you can barely get two people in a 16-foot RV, right? Here we got, what, three, six, seven of us in here. <laughs> These are guys. Guys are in here. Yeah. Guys and a half. Guys. Yeah. Guys and another half and another half and another half. Yeah, exactly. One and one half. Exactly. <laughs> Plus. So if you think about it, you got a full shower, toilet, kitchen, you got storage for everything. It's 128 square feet. Yeah. So how much do you say something like this costs in total? 20 grand. Is that it? That's it. Did you hear him? That's, That's it. it. Go home to your parents and everybody. Yep. If you get out of high school and you don't have enough room to get, you know, money, if you get, get you one of these, put it in the backyard. Because I'm sure the water and electric bill is not even much at all. So oh, not even. I assume you can do $800 per month and put a certain percent interest on it and you get it paid for. I'm loving this kid. And that stay here. Interest. Let him yeah. stay here. Wait, so that one? Is this the accountant? Yeah. You don't want him. You don't want him. He ain't nothing but trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's trouble? <laughs> oh, he's trouble? I didn't know that. I'm not. Look here, doing his hair back there. Oh, he's going to take a shower. I call him Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> get out of here. Hey, get out of here. I don't want your hair hanging all over my floor. I got to get her clean now. He's got hair all over the place. His DNA's in here. Lice and all kinds of things. Oh. They don't have lice. Who knows what he's got in that Oh, Randy. You think you a mop? Come on over here, guys. James' hair is a mop, though. Come on, Me? I can't donate anything. Watch your step here. So this is where we're going to produce those homes. We're going to produce them in this building. Yeah, we build bigger ones over there. So here we're building them. We're 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 gearing up to do an assembly line. So we oh, build. Randy, can you holler out radio? Who hey, you hey everybody, holler out radio. Everybody, ready? One, two, three. Radio! <laughs> you got to turn it down. We get YouTube, they'll bing us or ping us. We'll get pinged. If we do this on on YouTube. Then they shut us down. They won't let Thank us play. Thank you. So, so what we're doing is we're gearing up where a trailer comes in here. We subfloor it. We frame it. We wire and plumb it. We pull it over there and wire it. And then we pull it up and we got our walls ready to set our walls. Then we work right on down the line. Theoretically, we're hoping we can do every two hours, we got one moving out of here. And so we can build four or five in a day. And that's what we're look, working on. It's a lot. I don't know if we'll get there. We're doing our best. We're going to see what we can do. So we got people in every spot learning, going, doing. I so that's. You can really do it. So we're excited. We've never done it before. We're all learning about all this stuff. We don't have all the tools and machinery we need. So we're kind of grunting it and red dogging it and trying to get it done, you know, until we can make some more money. But if you guys want to work part time during the summer, if you want to come in here, and I got all kinds of little jobs in here that would that would, could employ you guys if you wanted to come in kind of do this during the summer and give a taste of it, all right? So if you guys are interested, tell me, Mr. Allison, and I'll come down here we'll, and I'll, I'll teach you guys. You don't need to know how to run a saw or drill, you don't need to do anything. I will teach you everything you need to know, all right? We've taught ladies that came here and didn't know anything, and we've taught them how to build in a complete home. They didn't know what a saw, nail gun, nothing was, and within a week, they knew how to do everything, okay? So all I need is a, just a good attitude. You guys be here on time. Make sure you want to be here. Don't come here because you just want to make a couple bucks like him and leave. All right? You get it for the money. Make sure you come here, but you want to be here. All right? You want to hang out. You want to learn a little bit. And I guarantee we'll have we'll have some fun. But that's it's up to you guys. All right? I say y'all have a lot of fun. 
Well, it's, it's going to be nice. I mean, if you like to work and you like to see production. Yeah. So the thing is, you guys got a mindset of wanting to design and you want to see things built. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be intriguing to you to see how all this happens. Now, over a course of a year or two, you're going to say, well, okay, I've, I've kind of maxed that out. And what we do is if guys learn how to be carpenters and builders, then we'd go in there and build the other homes in there, the bigger ones, the more designed homes. So we, we go from basic to super intricate, you know? And so it's, it's all over the board. And, and the bigger this company gets, we want, I wanted to make Cop County the tiny home capital of the, of the United States. I want to make this thing where when they say tiny homes, it's in East Tennessee. I don't know if we'll get to that point, but that's the kind of drive that I got to make it happen, you know? So, but if you're interested, get with Mr. Ellison, um, these guys, and something you guys want to do, let me know, all right? Good deal. Good deal. All right. Can I get a, a picture of everybody before? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll come right back. Thanks. We got it kind of worked out. Um, what we're doing is at night, we haven't spray foamed all our building yet, so we got to insulate it. So we haven't been able to finish this up. So this week we're getting organized. So the next week or two, we'll be cranking it up. So the time you guys get out of school, we'll be Now what ready was the question, Randy? What was it? I want to know if we have certain guys in certain jobs that okay. they perform specific tasks. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good okay. question. Cool. Good deal. Yep, you guys are sharp, man. I look forward to working with you guys if you get a chance. Good deal. Thanks, Thanks sir. sir. All right, man. man. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you again. All right, buddy. Good. Ready? You guys can go back and look around if you got some time. You don't know hurry to leave. So, <laughs> Thank you. all right, man. See you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank yep. You. Bye. Now that's a hoot. Now that's fun. Yeah. That's just fun to see the kids come. Like Listen, yeah. there is nothing like <laughs> nothing like you. You push that one kid on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like young people. You now know that, what I'm saying? Now this is the age. Well, it was a little bit younger that you taught, right? You taught middle school. Well, and then I got in high school. Did you? Yeah. Okay, that's a fun group. You're good around groups like that. That's hilarious. Oh, they're good boys, yeah. man. Yeah. And you know what? They're smarter than they look. Yes. They know a lot. Yeah. You know, it's just like kids. They don't talk a lot, but yeah. they know what's going on. That one kid talked like he was 30 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. He is going to be like president one day or something. You want to see what's going on here? Yeah, let's kind of show All that. Right. So we have a hey, Randy and too. I just want to say, while because this is going to continue on with that video, yeah. thank you for the parents letting them come. Yeah, but, yeah, they get to, yeah, got to come here. So well, this is a small little community here yeah. in Cock County, and I think we're pretty well known within the community. Like yeah. that girl, she said she'd go by here all the time. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that they get to come. I'm hoping to go back yeah. tell their folks yeah. that they got to be here. I would like to be a part of the community here. Mm -hmm. Did you see? how they're not stereotypical what you think east tennessee no. cock mm -hmm. county kids would they weren't be stereotypical at all not at all mm -hmm. you had different no. races yes different male female you had kids mm -hmm. that were you know hippie looking short hair different cut looks was, everything and they all talked yes nice good uh -huh. good I, I was just like i'm amazed i yeah. liked it i think they're good kids that was you know? really that was really fun to see all of them and everything so yeah that was, that was nice i'm glad they got to bring good them up. man i i don't know i i like it because for some reason when you're around young guys young girls and people that want to work mm -hmm. and do what we're doing it it, it kind of gets you fired up well i remember in school that and you i'm sure you do too that on field trips were just everything you, and if you got to go on a field trip that was something like this, more educational than it was a, a fun like going to Dollywood or something like yeah. that, um, you actually do pay attention. It makes you think a little bit different. I remember seeing presentations that changed my thinking about stuff. So you don't think stuff like this is a big deal. Oh, we're just going to go over and see the tiny homes. That could change one of their minds of yep. how they see the world or exactly. how they see something yeah. like that. Yeah. So because, like the one kid said, I just, I just want to make a hundred thousand dollars. One of them said that. Okay. Well, that's why they chose. So why did you said why do you want to be a designer or engineer or whatever? Yep. I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. You may <clears> not know what it entails. Ain't got a clue. Ain't got a clue of what an yeah. engineer and all this stuff. The hard and work that fine. goes into right. it. You know. Yeah. yeah. So. Good. But doing this kind of work, you can make more than a hundred thousand dollars. Builders, carpenters. If they really know what's going on. Yeah. Yep. I gotta stop and tell these That's guys okay. something. Go Be right back. So, 
in doing the 12 by 20 house, every time you change up a model, you've got all these different types of decisions to be made about building, about waste, about efficiency, all that stuff, right? So let me explain to you on these panels and I'll show you what kind of what we come up with, all right? So, they're building, they're building a roof system, right? Now, right here, we do our vertical wall. Look at all, isn't that beautiful? It's so strong. It's just so strong. So you got vertical panels, then we got two horizontal. So when I was designing this, I made it nine foot tall wall. I thought, well, in the back we'll make it eight, right? Kind of like the Incredibox. Well, what happened was, to go nine feet, we're gonna go this wall, two, and then a four inch ripper. That's a lot of waste. So we're gonna bring it down four inches and make it eight foot, Eight up here then in the back instead of going instead of going uh, a panel and a half what we're gonna do is go up and make it one panel okay. and that's gonna be 84 inches in the back so it's gonna go from seven foot to eight foot six and slope an inch a, a foot and a half the reason we came in here I'm thinking we don't need to be cutting the panels we don't need to be taking the time and the waste and all that, let's make it to where the full panels work and no work. Works for us. Work for us. Yes. Okay. Now when you do the side like this. And this is the 12 by 20, just to remind 12 by 20. So when you do the side, it's gonna be a little bit of waste because you gotta go straight across, but it's really not that much when you do a square and just cut it off, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But my gosh, a 12 foot wide house is massive. massive. I swear you guys. Yeah. This is going to be it right here. Wow. This is the house. So, it's 12 foot wide, there's so much room. Now that tall wall is the front of the house. Okay, we, when so I designed it. So it's gonna be taller, and the back is wall shorter. is gonna be shorter. Now okay. the back wall is as tall as our regular homes we built. It's okay. all 84 inches. And the front wall, so what's cool about the front is we were gonna do two windows, door, two windows. Yes. Oh my God, the whole wall was like. It was too much I window. Was, and I was, I was afraid of the structural yeah. integrity of cutting it all out yes so Tom said we had some bigger windows but not as yes. big as two of them right and they're 404 404 I love them I do so too. we'll have one in the bedroom one in the, in the living room Perfect. and then you got a glass door okay so it's really gonna have a lot of light still coming in we got mm -hmm. a puck a, a puck window a hopper window a hopper window in the bathroom. the bathroom so it's up high we got mm -hmm. privacy because the way this this uh, community is laid out they're back to back. There's only like five foot between houses when they when they run up together right. like that. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure there's privacy and stuff like that. Okay. So lots of room. Man. Yeah. Oh, so much room. And I just seen now. I just videoed that the guys are doing the walls. All these walls are for the 12 by 20 right now. Okay. So right now this is an end wall mm -hmm. and this is an end wall. Okay. Over there is the roof system. That's the roof. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Probably mm. what, what Luke's doing. He's building a roof system. Then he'll take that and set it on that. He'll build another one and set it on that okay. one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build the whole roof. Then we're going to set it on here. Now, the one thing that we have design and engineering thing that we have to think about is now this house is 12 foot wide. And that panels, we span 8 foot on the Incredibox. Okay. We can't span 12 feet almost a flat roof okay so now we have to put a structural membrane in here i see to keep it strong right so we will have a beam coming across here okay. to hold the roof system up what they're doing right now and we'll do this right now it's not an assembly line but he's uh mike up there is putting on this flange it's okay. an angle iron it's an angle flange on the inside and outside mm -hmm. so when we set the roof on there 
all they do is they screw the roof to that flange. Okay. So they're putting it on both sides. Over here, we might be able to put it on the roof, the wall before it comes over here. But the problem we have on that is the way we grab our wall, we have to grab it from the top. So we can't put the flanges on them before we set the wall. Okay. So what I want to do is over the weekend while the guys are gone, I want to build a scaffold. It's kind of a permanent walkway around the whole house. Great idea. So the house will pull into that scaffold, so scaffold. and it's a, walk, a sidewalk. They got tools, they get everything they need. That they is wham, so wham, 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 smart. Put on the roof, got it, and they pull it out. Now they can put the kitchen in the bathroom That's and all that stuff. That's the way to do it right there. there. So God, great idea. We're going to get there. Now, <clears throat> this is a 12 by 20. This is a prototype. We're just going to build one and that's it. One and done so we can show you guys what it's going to look like. Right. That won't go into production until our incredible tiny homes. We got like 120, 130 we're going to build. Uh, the incredible boxes. Incredible boxes. Mm -hmm. We hope we can get them done in about three or four months. Mm -hmm. Get them all built and gone. Right. Then we'll shift and change up our complete system mm -hmm. to accommodate the 12 by, the 12 by 20s, 20s yep. if we sell them. You know, you guys like them, then we'll, we'll put that into production. Right. And the thing is, is like right now, this is a jig, right? Yes. So this is where we put our panels. We got angle iron around here. As you guys can see, they're already pre-cut on the bottom. That's a flange that will fit over top of our sill plate. And you can see how they're screwed. They're beautifully straight, up and down. They're super strong, screwed from behind. But it's made for a 16-foot wall. Because mm -hmm. let me show you, let's show you what we got. Okay. When we build a wall, the wall is that tall. Okay. So we can't get up there because we're too short, right? Right. Well, we made this system here. That pulls out. Oh, cool. We take the walk board and we set it up here. We got another one that pulls out at 16 feet. We put that 20-foot walk board on here. Right. And now we walk and we do it. And then when we're done, slide it back. These guys are, have been building. We got, we got uh, that system's ready. This one's still being put together. Here's what is, this is what I feel like the difference is <laughs> um, in building a, this is just such a different way you all are having to create stuff that is, does not exist right so you have come up with something that never existed i mean the concept the house duh okay but how are you building the house how do you get this built we're talking these are panels people are not building houses with no, these panels they build sheds so it takes you guys look i mean tom's been a builder for his whole life and he's over there learning and he's over learning He's Joseph asking Luke. Is, Joseph is over there learning because they've never done this before. No, nope. and so it's a learning curve. This is a learning curve. Now, we curve. know Luke has done, Luke is the one that built all the panels. Right. I know I've been on a crew building these and doing all that stuff, but not everybody has had that same amount no. of time. So now everybody's, it's, but what, what one of them high school boys said? Yeah. He said, man, the concept's really simple. It is. And it is simple. It is and simple. And that's why I've always liked these panel homes. Well, it's, it is simple, and I love that he said that. But what you explained out there, and I think that that makes all the difference, is like you can be in your office, you can be an engineer, and you can be an architect and all that stuff, but until you come out here and do you or do see that. what they're doing, you're, you don't you're not going to fully grasp what's and going on. And that's the biggest complaint about carpenters that Correct. get designs from our engineers and architects. Yeah. They have no field experience. No field experience. If, I, if my son or daughter wanted to do it, they need to be it right here, they need to work, and then they need to know, they would, they would know that that wall cannot be built all in one section. Correct. It's, it's physically not going to work that way. So now it has to be built in two sections. Yes. That roof system has got to span a certain file. All these little things, even where to put your body, yes. that angle iron, it has to be under so the panels will slide. Right. Because they don't slide as well on wood. Mm -hmm. We had to learn that, man. Had to learn we had to that. tear it apart and put it together. And when you tear something apart, now it takes time and the lady's wanting her house, yeah. we're, we're delayed. Yeah. But you right. times that by a hundred things that yes. we're changing up. Mm -hmm. Like over here, this is all of our electrical that we're putting together. This is Luke when he gets back. This is his off-grid stuff. <clears throat> but over here we showed that's our plumbing diagram. Yes, getting organized. So 
All these pipes are pre-cut for the Incrediboxes. Amazing. That's so we great. already know this is 17 inches, 22, you know, 15, all this stuff's ready, right? So if we change up and do a 12 by 20, this is no longer going to be No work. longer going to Now apply. we got to have complete different supplies. This right here no longer works. No. We are geared for an 8 by 16 Incrediboxes. Incrediboxes. Yes. That's why we can keep them right now at 20 grand. Mm -hmm. That's why we can keep them at a low price. That's why we pump them out the door. Right. <clears throat> this is why I want to set up and I want to say, you know what, everybody? Mm -hmm. That is like you all seen them boys in there. This is affordable housing. Yeah. Is it something that's perfect? No. Is yeah. it a 2,000 square foot house? No. But I'm going to tell you what. All them boys have got to start out somewhere. And if they don't have the money or they don't have the means of family or somebody to help them, mm -hmm. and they could, I wish I could finance them little houses. Yeah. And people could get in them. It's affordable housing. You know, so. All right. We well, hope you like this video. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. I got to get back to work and help yeah. them guys. So thanks for watching. This is Thursday. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the last guy's uh, work day of the week. Yeah. So tomorrow, Tom and I and a few other guys come in here and we start. Like I said earlier, we'll get in here and try to do some thinking through next week and the engineering and everything that we. No, have we to won't do. be here tomorrow. Oh, we got a big deal tomorrow. I forgot about that. I know. I forgot too. So you just said that I'm like I'm. We got a big, we got a big show for you tomorrow. We got a big, sh a big show. Big show. Yeah. We're gonna be in Asheville, North Carolina, yeah. with, a, with an Incredible Box, uh, showing the homeless advocate department or whatever yeah. for Asheville, the city of Asheville, mm -hmm. and we're gonna meet with them, and if they'll let us, we'll video the whole thing. I hope so. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.